Today we're going to learn about discovering ionic bonds and we're going to use magne magnesium sulfate and sodium chloride. So magnesium sulfate and sodium chloride. Some of the tools that we're going to use include the hot plate, um, petri dishes, beakers, and pipettes. You can see some pipettes. And we're going to use this, uh, these tools to learn about the structure of the sodium chloride uh, molecule and the magnesium sulfate molecule. Some warnings. This is not uh, a lab that you can take lightly. You have to wear goggles. We're working with hot salt solutions. We don't want that in your eyes. Things will be very hot. We'll have boiling salt solutions. And if there's any horseplay, you're out of the lab. We don't want people to get burned. We don't want anything splashed on clothes. We don't want people uh, to damage the uh, experiments other people are, are doing. So respect the lab, keep the lab clean, and take care of the equipment. Some of the procedures. You need 150 milliliters of distilled water in a beaker. You're going to put that beaker on the hot plate and then um, start it boiling and slowly add the salt solution to it while it's boiling. Here you can see uh, some of the salt solution inside the beaker and uh, you can also see that the water level is changing. You can see uh, the bubbles boiling, but you can also see things happening inside the speaker. It's very important that you record all measurements as you add the salt, the different salts to the boiling water. Do it very slowly, not more than 10 grams at a time. Probably less would be better, especially when you get close to supersaturation. When you start to see the water clouding up, slow down. Add just a tiny bit at a time and make sure you're measuring the amounts using the digital scale each time you add some salt. There's a lot of work for everybody to do. People can be measuring, people can be getting equipment, people can be uh, adding salt to the water. Everybody needs to be aware of their surroundings because we're going to have a lot of hot chemicals and we don't want anybody to get hurt. This is an example of uh, the different s solutions. Uh, the one on the right is sodium, uh, the, excuse me, the one on the left is sodium chloride. The one on the right is the magnesium sulfate. And you can see different things are happening in each one. Make sure you're recording your observations. Uh, what color changes happen, how much salt you're adding to each of the solutions, how long it takes for things to dissolve. Every detail is extremely important for understanding what's happening in these solutions. The one on the left, the sodium chloride, is very close to being super saturated. You're getting precipitation in the solution, which means even though it's boiling, the salt crystals are starting to form. So solids are forming in the solution. That's what precipitation means. It means when salt, uh, solids begin to form in solution. On the other side, you can see that the water is still fairly clear. So you probably want to add a little more of the magnesium sulfate to see what happens. Once you re reach supersaturation, you want to take your pipette and make little beads of the solution in a petri dish and begin recording observations immediately because changes can happen very fast. Record color changes, record uh, clarity changes. Does the water change from being clear to being cloudy? Record. This is all very important information for what you're doing. Another thing we can do is give you some paper to put a few of the drops on to record some of the changes there as well. And we're also going to provide uh, magnifying glasses and possibly microscopes for you to look at and draw the shape of the crystals. It's important that you find the nice crystals and draw their shapes. And then that's really one of the results we're looking for. I can't begin to tell you how important safety is for this lab. You have to wear your goggles. 
you have to be aware of what's going on, and things are going to be hot, and definitely no horseplay. So when you're doing all this, we want you to have fun, but be safe, and see what you can discover about the crystal shapes and crystal structures of sodium chloride and magnesium sulfate. Both of these ionic compounds are uh, common in our everyday lives, and they're very useful things, um, but in the conditions that we're working with, they do uh, there are some safety issues, so be aware of that. All right, have a great lab. Make sure you do your pre-lab, and um, we'll provide some paper models for you to look at uh, so you can compare those to the crystals that you've grown. All right, thanks. Bye.